the alpha pump is an exciting new technique uh, which has been developed to remove the fluid from the belly in patients who've got difficult to control ascites. It uh, aspirates acetic fluid from the abdominal cavity and it pumps uh, it further to the urinary bladder so that patients can uh, urinate acetic fluid. The alpha pump is dedicated to a patient with refractory ascites. But the time window from developing ascites and having a refractory ascites, which is then the indication for an alpha pump is quite variable, it can be in a couple of weeks, but it can be in one or two years. The patient doesn't need to go into the hospital every so often for evacuation of the ascites, which is really a difficult procedure for the patient. For the most part, um, the patients have a fantastic experience. So the alpha pump for the doctor of jury is quite easy because we do have the patient uh, only for out visits. And in particular, patients are more and more satisfied with this system. The pump is charged wirelessly. Um, so there's a charger which you can place on the pump, but there's still skin between the charger and the pump. And patients have uh, to uh, charge the pump twice a day. Just place the charger for 20, 30 minutes a day, depending on how big the pump volume is, and then you can um, remove the charger and the pump is charged completely. As we get report every week for the functioning of the pump, that's pretty easy to uh, monitor and to adjust the flow of the pump. The operation takes roughly 45 to 60 minutes. This is, I think, the ideal time to, to perform the procedure. And usually uh, it's doing on a morning, so that means that in the afternoon the patient is awake and can uh, start to uh, manipulate and to get some explanation about the pump. When the alpha pump is working well, these patients have a fantastic quality of life because the ascites is being automatically evacuated from the belly into the bladder and the patient does not require any further large volume paracentesis. So they take advantage of this continuous system in order to uh, not have the pressure uh, in their belly. They can eat better, they can walk around better and their quality of life is uh, significantly improved. The problem with paracentesis is that the patient is well maybe two to three days after the paracentesis, but then after, as the volume is getting uh, up again, the patient can't move. And with the alpha pump, the patient told us that they could move again, that they could have a more normal life in order to, uh, to get to handle with their family or to have more activities. But one of the major advantages of the alpha pump over large volume paracentesis is the quality of life of the patient improves dramatically. Extends not only to the patient, but also to the family because it allows for this particular patient to be free, mobile, and self-caring. That is, I think, the, the, the major experience for the patient. Uh, the, the last patient we have uh, implanted was really dependent on her daughter. And now uh, the daughter is saying that she has a bit more freedom as she can leave her mother in the house and she can be a bit more independent than she was from before. Um, we had a patient um, with no therapeutic options. So he um, had lower leg edemas, he had renal insufficiency, had a cardiac problem, um, hyponatremia. So then, at the end, we decided, because the patient was devastated and he, was, he, didn't, he didn't know what to do, we decided to, to try to implant the pump. And the patient was absolutely happy. 
because he was facing no future basically and now he can have a daily life and he doesn't have to be readmitted anymore. In my experience, the duration of treatment with the alpha pump has uh, virtually no limitations. We have followed up patients for even more than one year and the experience with these patients is uh, particularly positive because their quality of life is uh, definitely improved.